Here are 30 free EdTech tools that teachers love to use in the classroom. Number one is Edpuzzle. You can make videos engaging by embedding questions inside of any video. This could be a YouTube video, Khan Academy video, or your own teaching video. Loom is number two. This is where you can record your screen, you can record yourself, or a combination of the two. This is a Chrome add-on or a software download, and the premium version is free for teachers. Pear Deck is number three. This is where you can make Google Slides interactive. Basically take a Google Slides presentation that you already have and add questions on top of it. The interactivity is available live or on demand. Number four is Flipgrid. This is video answers from students. Really easy to pop up a question uh, or a discussion and students simply answer by video. This of course is free and the cool thing is they can add pictures, emojis, text to the video so students get really excited about this specific technology integration. Formative number five, this is where you can create interactive quizzes. It's great for formative assessment and you also can see their live answers as they complete it. Number six, look it. Gamify your classroom with this competitive quiz tool. It's like a game inside of a game. Students answer questions. When they get the questions correct, then they get to advance in their specific game mode that they are playing. You can play this live or you can assign it as homework. Remind is number seven. This sends text and email reminders without sharing your personal number or students or parents. They don't share their number with you either. So everybody's protected, but everybody stays in contact and knows what's going on. Canva number eight, drag and drop editor to create graphics for your classroom or students can use it to create student projects. Class Dojo number nine. This is a behavior management tool. It's great for younger grades, pre-K through six, although I have used it with junior high students and had success. Basically, students earn points or dojos for getting their work done on time, uh, for behaving correctly, for helping other students. Really, any way that you uh, want them to earn points, they can earn dojos for them, and it's just a great behavior management tool. Number 10, Wonderopolis. Any question you are wondering or your students are wondering, put it into the search box and get an answer. Why is the sky blue? Ask Wonderopolis. Wolfram Alpha. This is such a cool search engine, but it's a computational search engine. So that means that it's not going to shoot out links of information. It's going to shoot out factual information about anything and everything. So you could type in George Washington and it will give you factual information specifically about him. Or you could type apples versus oranges and it will give you the nutritional value for both of those and compare the two. It's a great search engine to use for students and also for teachers. Number 12, Flippity. This is spreadsheet-based teacher tools. From randomizers to spelling word lists to creating quick word searches, you can use Flippity to create custom activities for your students. And no account is needed. Just put in the information that you need it to uh, put into a crossword puzzle or put into a randomizer in some way and it will create it for you. Number 13, Khan Academy. Educational content organized into classes for easy integration into your classroom. Basically, online courses that already have videos and activities that you can load your students into and they can complete those activities and you see the results. Kahoot! Number 14. This is game-based learning Basically, you have a, a set of questions that are loaded into Kahoot and students answer those questions. The faster they are, the more points they get. It's competitive among uh, their peers. And if they were to get it wrong, though, they get zero points. So it's more important to be correct versus uh, being too quick and getting the answer wrong. Uh, they learn how to play. It's a lot of fun. Kahoot, if you haven't checked it out, it is free, they do offer paid versions as well. Number 15, Padlet. 
This is digital bulletin boards that you're able to interact with and students are able to collaborate in on one Padlet board uh, so they can work together in a group or they can come up with an idea board. It really could be used in an endless number of ways. 16, rewordify. Take literally any piece of text that you can copy and paste into rewordify and it differentiates that text easily so all learners can read and understand the words. It is free and it also offers activities surrounding those hard to read words uh, like crosswords and word searches and flashcards. So if you need to practice those specific words that are hard to read or hard to understand, uh, it has those activities for you. Satori number 17. This creates interactive timelines. This is great as a teacher tool or for student projects. Number 18, Common Sense Media. This is such a great free resource. You can search for ed tech tools that are reviewed by teachers and parents. It has great digital citizenship curriculum and it's also a great resource for parents if they're wondering, uh, should I allow my student or their uh, son or daughter uh, to watch a specific uh, movie or play a specific game. They can get the review and the rating from Common Sense Media before they allow them to watch a specific movie or play a specific game without actually watching it or playing the game. So that's really cool. Number 19 is Go QR. This is a free QR code creator. Basically, you can create a code for a website a document, a location, a contact, um, a phone number, it could be anything. This is just a quick way to create a QR for free. Toy theater number 20, digital manipulatives that are free. You're able to send students to this site. They have digital manipulatives that they're able to uh, click and drag around and interact with, and it has educational games for kids. 21, Quizlet. This is virtual flashcards. You put in the set of vocab words that you are studying with their uh, definition and it quizzes them on those specific words. It's great for quiz review uh, and it has a lot of other learning tools in there as well. Moat is voice notes and feedback. This is a Chrome extension. So basically a student hands in some work and you are able to not just type back your feedback, but you're able to talk back your feedback. Uh, they can hear your voice, which helps a lot if you are distance learning and you need to connect with your students that way. And they're able to read into your voice a little bit more on how you meant what you were saying if you were to type it, because sometimes when we type, things don't always get translated the way that we want them to. And so you're able to use your voice uh, to give feedback to the student. That was number 22. We're on to number 23, Nearpod. This is interactive lessons and activities where you're able to put in questions inside of your presentation so students answer in live time and then you see the student progress in live time. So that helps you know as a teacher that your students are understanding the lesson in real time. This is free. Uh, but there is definitely a paid version that is a really great paid version. So this is one that, yes, it's free, but if you can pay for one, uh, Nearpod is really cool with the paid version. Uh, but you do get enough out of the free version too. Number 24, Teacher Made. Turn any paper worksheet into a digital interactive worksheet. You're able to take that PDF and put questions on top of it. Uh, so students are able to go in and put their answers in as if they were writing it on a piece of paper. This saves so much time because you don't have to recreate paper worksheets that you already have into digital worksheets. Teacher Made makes this really easy. 25 is Classroom Screen. This is a virtual screen to display uh, that uses many helpful classroom management widgets. So this could be randomizers, this could be rolling the dice, it has a stoplight. Uh, there are many different widgets that you can use to have a digital background. Uh, it is free and no account is needed. One of my favorites when there's no account needed. Number 26, Symbaloo. 
you can create a bookmarks web page with clickable tiles. And this is nice for younger learners because they're able to click on pictures to get them to the links that you want them to go to instead of having to be able to read words or type in the search bar a web address. So you basically just have a teacher homepage with all of your clickable tiles and students uh, know that web page and that's the only place they have to go and then they're just able to click on those tiles. 27 Seesaw. It's an interactive student engagement learning platform that creates a virtual portfolio. I suggest Seesaw for uh, K through six, probably can get away with junior high. I have seen it in high school, but I do see this as a younger uh, learning management system. I see more success with that. And it also gives directions using pictures, just like I talked about with Symbaloo, instead of for students having to read words, they can see the directions and they also can hear the directions in uh, Seesaw. So that's a great learning management platform. Edmodo is free uh, learning management system. It's used to engage, communicate, and collect assignments. It looks a lot like Facebook, so students get excited about that. Uh, you're basically able to use it just like you would any other learning management system. Google Classroom number 29. This is a learning management system that really excels in collaboration with the use of all the other Google tools. So Google Classroom is just where students submit their assignments and they can get uh, information from the teacher and then it uses Google tools uh, like Docs and uh, Sheets and Forms and Jamboard uh, to do all the individual activities. Schoology number 30 this is an advanced learning management system that boasts a variety of integrations and flexibility. So this one can really be whatever you need it to be uh, with all of its integrations and very flexible. This one is free. Most often though, if districts are using Schoology, they have paid for it because it does allow for many more features. All right, that was 30 free ed tech tools that teachers love to use. If you wanna get this in a PDF format of all of those tools uh, that I mentioned today, uh, you certainly can. I will drop the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this content today, please like and also subscribe so you get notified when I put up a new teaching video about ed tech tools.